in the skies. We are starting seeing a little bit of some cloud cover, which definitely is about, oh my goodness, do you guys see that? See like another one right here. Okay, I'm just happy that we finally get to see some stars tonight, especially in this area. Now the one thing you can't feel with the mid -the sky tower cam is how cool we are currently getting. Now the sun has left us, but we're still in our 70s at 73 degrees. Our humidity is sitting at 57%. Our winds are traveling east 15 miles per hour. Now, the sunset did happen at 8.51 p.m. And then, you know, while the sunset was going down and then some rain was coming on in, here's what we're seeing right now across the Permian Basin area. We are seeing some rain action going on, mostly south of I-10. And take a closer look at that. It's mostly in the Fort Stockton, Pecos area, Alpine, and parts of Marfa. Now, these storms are going to be producing some lightning along with some thunder. So do be sure to stay indoors, you know, into the next morning. Do be sure to, you know, avoid those flooded roads because we're still going to be seeing some rain. By the time it is 7 in the morning, we're going to see some rain in parts of the Midland Odessa area along with Hobbs and parts of, you know, the Big Spring area. Over in this area, you know, the Northeast, Carlsbad, Pecos, Fort Stockton, and Marfa and Alpine, it's going to be a nice, clear kind of morning for you. But then the rain is going to come on in. We get a quick break by 1 p.m. That rain's actually going to come on in around 5 p.m. in Marfa and in Alpine. And earlier in the day, we saw that rain happening in Midland Odessa, Hobbs, and in Big Spring. Now it's just going to be a clear kind of day so that rain is going to remain in the area all the way into the evening and even parts into 6 a.m. come Tuesday especially in Hobbs so what I will say is do be sure to make sure you have your raincoat you're definitely going to need it now all the rain that we have been seeing is adding on to some local flooding that we have been seeing as well so please remember these three three tips. Avoid flooded roadways, turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly through those puddles. That way you don't start off your Monday, you know, with your car stuck, your engine not turning over. We don't want that on Monday. We want a great kind of start of our week. We don't want a Monday of all Mondays. Now here's what we're looking at. In the past 24 hours, Middle Odessa has increased by 7 degrees, Wink 2 degrees warmer, Fort Stockton 2 degrees cooler, Alpine 11 degrees cooler. You know, parts of this area where that rain is going on has cooled down. And then we're seeing, you know, 3 degrees cooler in the Big Spring area. Now here's what that's going to look like into tomorrow. 8 in the morning, we're we'll going to be seeing our 60s at 62. It's going to be cool. It's going to be a sunny kind of morning. Then we get into noon. That's when our rain's going to start coming in. Our temperatures will be increasing. By 5 p.m., we're going to make it all the way up to 80 degrees with a rainy kind of afternoon. Now, here's a, take, here's a look at that seven-day forecast. Now, I'm really excited. Don't forget about this part yet. Let's start over here. Halfway the first part of the week, we're going to see some rain. And then Rick and Mike, that's when the sun is going to be coming on out. And I'm really excited because we power power powering through this, you know, start of the new week and the ending of this weekend with that rain. Thank you so much for that, Bridget. I'm looking forward to it. I have enjoyed the rain. It's been a bit of a cool down, so I'm not mad at it. Yeah, nice weather's <laughs> coming uh, when we're working. But hey, yes. we'll, we'll take it anyway. Thanks so much, Bridget. <laughs>